Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we want to have a brief look at an audiobook player for Linux. So if you happen to like audiobooks and you wanted to look for a specific player for those rather than tying those into whatever media library you're using, Cozy is an option for you. Now I did find in testing it there are a few little bugs here and there and uh, I'm going to point out what those are. But for the most part it seems like a decent application. You can get it for uh, on FlatHub, of course, you can see here, and it is in a couple of distributions. So OpenSUSE, Arch, Void, Solace, and MX Linux all has it. Elementaries is out of date. I did not see it in Linux Mint repository. So you can see, um, uh, you can see that uh, you can grab it. There is a Mac version, which is currently, um, uh, let's see. They don't have a comment there. Let's so it's they said it's currently discontinued. There is a an old beta, but it is uh, not been tested for any newer systems. So I'd probably not worry about it if you're on Mac. Now, what I wanted to show you is is uh, basically how it works, what it looks like. You just very simple. It is a simple GNOME application, and like a lot of them, it seems like it lacks a lot of features that might be useful but there are enough little features down here on the very bottom we have a sleep timer so if you're playing this on a computer and uh, you can set your sleep timer you can do playback speed and the audio you can sort by recent author and reader I did find that these tags were a little odd it took me a while to figure out what it's using it's not using author tag it's not using artist tag it's using composer I have no earthly idea why so of course I use kid 3 and we have a whole tutorial on doing kid 3 so this is one of the audio books where I I uh, had the artist uh, I don't think I've, I've had the album. I have the artist listed. Usually the artist in the album is what you would need for any typical uh, typical MP3 player. So I have those set in. But it was still showing up as unknown. So I added author, and that didn't work. I added album artist. That didn't work. I finally added composer. That was the one that actually worked. So if you are, if you are using this, make sure you are adding a ID tag on your files for composer if you want to sort by the author and then the reader I think this is pulling from the album artist is what that's pulling from and so the other settings that we have we have we can scan the library this is if well, I'll get to that in a moment here but let's look at the preferences first we have a light mode and a dark mode toggle so you can switch those in we can swap the author and the reader tags there if you want to do that and then here is your playback option. So if you, uh, on replay, rewind 30 seconds of the current when you're starting it. So if you close it down and open it back up, it'll back up 30 seconds if you want to do that. And then you can set the rewind and the fast forward duration. Here is your sleep timer and um, you can set how much it, it times out for. I thought I saw the option to shut down the system when it's done. Maybe I was mistaken. I was looking at a lot of different software packages recently. so. Here's artwork. You can prefer external images over embedded covers. So um, if you turn that on, then it will probably look for cover uh, .jpg or something. So if you look at this Josiah one, I actually have the Josiah audiobook and I have the album art small. Of course, we're using the embedded covers because I have those tagged on the uh, in the individual file. So you'll see they're actually over here on each of the individual files is where I have that tag. And then there is actually some some feedback here. So right now the default does have an error reporting which collects a bunch of data. Uh, Linux distribution, desktop environment, cozy version, line of code where it occurred and what type of error occurred. You can increase more or you can go ahead and disable that all in the feedback. And they have the source code and more information over there on GitHub. So there is uh, the basic settings, very simple to use. And uh, if you click in on a individual audiobook, you'll see that you'll have all of these. And it will use the it'll use the ID tag for the track number to put these in. And uh, we figured that out well because I actually had a promo clip in this, and that was still tagged for some reason as audio tag four. And I saw two audio tags for four introduction I'm like what's going on with that well i just use the introduction for the promo clip when you're selling audiobooks you have to provide a promo clip as well so i had to delete that from the system 
And you can get in here and just click on any individual section. Click at that. And then you can see that it will play the file. And then you can go ahead and uh, follow through the book, let it play. You can go forward, you can go back. And again, there's the reader, there's the author, and then there is your recent. Now, as far as Walden, I picked this one up on Project Gutenberg, and I knew I was forgetting to grab a file. Let's go ahead and go with Project Gutenberg. So Project Gutenberg has a lot of uh, open source books available. So, and uh, a lot of these are eBooks or things. And uh, it just turns out that some of these books are available as audiobooks as well. So this one here is, you can see is just the e-readers. But if you go back to this Walden here, and this guy here, you'll see is audiobook. So you can download either OGG, Apple iTunes, MP3, or Speaks audiobooks. So you can go ahead and grab all of those individual files and you can drop those in. As far as adding files to your library, the first way is there is, uh, there is a scanning system. So the it, this will create a folder called audiobooks in your home folder so any book that you drop into there you can then subsequently use so let me go ahead and uh, drop in this book half my life we'll go ahead and just drag this guy over actually i'm going to copy it over instead of moving it so go ahead and do that and then once you've added something new when you're back on your home screen you can click this button and scan library it's going to look for any changes inside of that folder so you can see here that it has added the extra audiobook and uh, you'll see though that it has unknown and that's because this one i never changed the tags to add that composer uh, let me just show you what that book looks like in the audio tags so let me back up a little bit and we'll go into this. And so you can see that these ones here, we have the artist and that's the only thing. So the, uh, the narrator is pulling from the artist. I don't think there's a narrator. No, there's not a narrator tag. So you'd need to add the composer tag. So if you add that, let me add it to all of them because I'm gonna show you one of the, uh, one of the first issues that I found Hit, hit add and we'll do composer and then we'll just add that name in there okay so we'll add that composer and uh, we are going to back up though and I want to make the changes in the audiobooks because one of the challenges I found is if you had to update your tag information it it was not actually able to update that on the fly that I saw. And so even rescanning the library, it would not allow us to do that. So we're going to change the ones now inside of our library itself. Go back up to composer, scan library. And then you'll see it still does not change the, uh, it still does not change the, oh, it did. Look at that. By scanning library, it did. Actually, I did not actually see that. In my earlier testing, I tried that several times, and that wasn't working. So, okay, that is. Uh, I will have to rescind that original criticism. It is now actually correctly doing the tags. So now you can come over here. Okay, so you can see that the uh, the titles are there. The... Um, uh, everything is there and yeah, changing the tags did work. I actually tried that several times and it did not work. All right. I got one bug here one bug still, uh, remaining that, uh, uh, I have not seen resolved. So let's go ahead and take our code red audio book. We're going to extract this guy. All right, let's go ahead and extract the book. So now we have that. Now this one here is one I have not seen a resolution do. And I swear if this resolves this time that I'm going to say this is the best software in the world. And this is what, like taking your car to the mechanic, right? You can drag a book over. The problem is once you do that, it will always stay this blue screen. I have tried the escape buttons, deletes. I have tried every key combination you can possibly do. There is no way to get the screen off that I can tell. Close the application, restart it and it's in here so now you can see that the audiobook is in here uh and we still don't have that we don't have that um uh, the tag set so we'll have to fix the tag later but it will properly input the audiobook it's just that blue 
drop files here remains. However, everything else works just fine. So if that's the only bug we can find, then that is actually pretty good. The only other one I found is if you delete the book from your audiobooks folder and it's still in the library, it cannot be deleted from the library until you restore the books back. So you could end up with artifact books if you're cleaning house by going into your audiobook file. And when you delete a, a book, it will delete the audio files, but it will save anything artificial. Like uh, it saves the folder, it will retain the album art and things like that. But you can see here, let me just click in on this one. So this is the new audiobook series, of course. If you follow the channel, these are the audiobooks that we uh, were doing a, an audiobook uh, roughly once a month for Patreon supporters. So uh, I just want to illustrate this. Anytime you can get any form of DRM-free audiobooks that you have the actual MP3 files for, you can use this instead of intermingling your audiobooks with inside of your your uh, inside of your uh, media players if you are so inclined to do so they have information cozy.sh is their web page there they do have all the source code on github that's the link i was missing there you go so here's where all of your source code is so any issues of course you can put them on over here now if you are interested in my audiobooks drm free you can pick them all up easily over on payhip.com I'm going to feature this one because this we the PayHip will sell anywhere in the world, so you can pick up all the audiobooks over there. Of course, um, uh, DRM free ebooks are also over here as well, so all the books that I have are available over there. You can grab those, and the copies I have right here are exactly what you're downloading. These are the actual files, so you just extract it, drop it in, and you're set to go. So that's at payhip.com slash O-W-I-C. Payhip.com slash O-W-I-C. I'll put that link in the description. So there's a brief look at the Kodi audiobook player for Linux. Looks pretty fun. And I don't know, maybe I'll uh, throw that on my system for my audiobooks. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments down below.